when I sneeze, I'll try to sneeze more friendly. <laughs> Hello, I'm John Mallison. Welcome to Connect With Me, live on the showroom floor here on this uh, Wednesday morning at Ventura TV. And you're watching us on Comcast Channel 187 and 43.6. And so, you think you're an artist. You've heard of that show, You Think You Can Dance. You think you're an artist? Well, we'll see if you really are today. Today, we have a special guest in the studio. Her name is Ebony Zurl. She is a world-renowned artist right here in the city of Fresno. We're back with your phone calls, 265-4331, in just a moment. Today I have the pleasure of talking about arts and culture right here in the city of Fresno. And so if you think you're such a great artist, and you know, we all have some kind of artistic ability within us. And you know, many of us, most of us, including myself, we don't know it. Now, how good it is, is really subject to question and really is a subjective matter. It's, it's you know, everybody has an opinion, right? But I, I have to show you this piece of art right here. I gotta be very delicate and hold that up. Now look at that, that's a piece of art that was made by Ebony Zerl. She lives here in the city of Fresno and many of her drawings and her paintings are up at City Hall on the second floor right now. Uh, this is a piece of art that she made. I don't know how long it took her to make it, but we'll talk to her about that. Just a beautiful sculpture right there. She does both sculpting and also drawing and some paintings. We'll take a look at what is up on the second floor at City Hall. Look at that right there. That's a drawing trying to read. That's the name of that one. Hey, how about child care? We've got a child care drawing right there. Look how good and how uh, just incredibly starking that is. I mean, it just, it's, it, it stands out, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And then Chopin, that's another one. A beautiful, beautiful piece of art. You can catch these on the second floor at City Hall, all made by Ebony Zerl. She is live in our studio right now, an artist, and wait till I tell you the rest of the story. She's a former surgeon. She was a surgeon, a doctor, for the better part of 29 years. What happened was, she was laid off many, many moons ago, probably before many of you were born, back in 1976, I believe. And so she said, well, you know what? I'll just go to medical school. I'm unemployed, I'll become a doctor. How many of us can do that? Anyway, she has been using her surgical uh, expertise to support her habit of art. Your phone calls are important. We have some art right here on the desk. We have a book. We have more photos to show you. 265-4331 is the number and the lovely Ebony uh, Zerl is here. We can't wait to hear from you. Back in a moment. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the low price leading brands reliable advice place. The Whirlpool Dream Kitchen Get Yours Today Place. Check this out. Right now, get huge savings on select Whirlpool appliances and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. And we're back. We have a lot of stuff on the set today. Um, really some, some very interesting objects and you know, I mean, art, doing art, it, it, part of it is, and maybe all of it is, is what's going on inside your head. It's imagination. Um, you know, Ebony is here. Ebony Zerl, hey, good to see you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you for being here today. Oh, it's my pleasure. You know, part of it is, as I was saying, is imagination, what's going on in your head, but you also draw real-life people, do you not? Yes. Yeah. So up at City Hall on the second floor, um, what kind of drawings are, are, are we looking at up there? Well, I have to admit, my drawings are really doodles. And that I started out as a teenager 
drawing and doodling in my notebook. Okay. And my parents gave me a special notebook and a special pen, so I would do my notes and do my doodles to the side. Well, that continued through high school, college, and graduate school, and then medical school. So, so do you have a vivid imagination? Everybody does, to? but yes, I let mine go when I'm listening. When I have to listen to somebody talk or listen to music, my mind is off daydreaming while I'm listening, so I draw. People, okay, let's, let's get to the sculpting right now because uh, take the other shot so we can see the desk is kind of cluttered here today and we're going we're gonna to show you why. What is this piece of art right here? Coat uh, hangers. That. Coat hangers. And, Coat hangers. And, and the object is, is that a woman? That's a woman who's dancing and throwing her arms back and out and she's wearing a leo, yellow leotard and she's made out of all coat hangers. Can you lift that or is that too heavy? Maybe point it toward your camera right there. Uh, she it's dances. A heavy. See? She dance, she's dancing. She dances. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. The wire itself is pretty light and easy to handle. The so these are made of coat hangers? Coat hangers. Really? So how long does it take you to make a piece like this? Uh, this will be oh, about a couple of months okay. to make this. Turn the front of that young lady towards that camera so they can get a shot of it. And... Um, uh, we'll and these get a are, shot of it. These yeah. are uh, filings from a metal shop. Is that her right? Hair. Uh -huh. So it's coat hangers and filings and scrap metal. I learned this from Chris Sorensen, who's an icon here in Fresno. Yeah, he's an artist as well. And yes. if you've ever been into his shop, I don't know. Uh, people out there watching right now, Chris Sorensen, he's out on the west side, I believe. He's he down not? south of Van south, Ness. Yeah, south of Van Ness there. Sorry. Um, but he uh, has been your inspiration a little bit, or what? For the wire. Yes. The wire, yeah. yeah. Yes. That's pretty amazing. It's a lot cheaper than doing bronzes. I right. used to do bronzes all the time, but now they've gotten too heavy. Now hold this one up on your side, too. And this is, uh, what, what are we this looking at is here? Is this a woman here? This is a woman, and I put her in a little net bikini for modesty purposes for mm -hmm. the show. Mm -hmm. So she's dancing. I love dancers. My sister was a dancer, and I just love people in motion. Mm -hmm. And so that's pretty much what I do. Right. And since I've been drawing people since a teenager, I have a pretty good sense on how they move. Here, I'll put that down for you so you don't uh, Thank you. break it anyway. So, and you have something on the desk here. You're, you're, it's a work in progress, right? I thought I, thought I would what are you making here? give an example of how these, are, how these are made because anybody can do it. It's all scavenged material. So, yeah, right. Anybody <laughs> can do it. Sure. Okay. Well, uh, I've had a lot of anything practice. Anything you say. <laughs> I've had a lot of practice. You think I can do this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it won't look like what I do, but right. it'll look like what you do. If we quit <laughs> making demands on the way things are supposed to look, we'd actually do some nice work, and that's the nature of an artist, is uh -huh. not worrying about what other people think and just letting your head do it. But this is um, So you think that's wire. what stops us, mm -hmm. is we're worried about what other people think? Yes, and, and what it looks like. You don't care what people think. Not on these. Now I do because, yeah, I, they're pretty much fun, and right. I, it's nice when people say, I love that. Can yeah. I have one? That's All pretty right. So what are you flattering. doing here? What so this okay. is uh, wire. I just scavenge um, electric wire or any kind of wire that's stiff and you can move it, you can dance it, you can do any kind of motion with it. And then I take twist wire to put it together. So that's Hold it up to your camera right there. Whoops. Yeah, you can see that, This right? is twist wire. These are all things that are cheap and you have access. So you can see the twist wire around putting it. And then I take a uh, screw with a nut. I don't have the nut on here. And I use the twist wire to mm -hmm. attach it to mm -hmm. this wire because mm -hmm. then I can attach it to a base and use a nut and then it'll stand up. Oh, that's And pretty then nice. I use some of, I'm using epoxy clay. Okay. Epoxy takes two components that you mix together and if you go to your local hardware store for five dollars you can get marine epoxy which you can use water with and that's what i used here it cures in fifteen minutes so you got two processes here what's what's this right here this the epoxy clay this that you get in the hardware store sets in fifteen minutes so you can't really sculpt with it but this is over ordered over the, the internet the company i order from is in richmond and we can give you the email uh, for it, but I ordered in Richmond. This takes 12 to 24 hours to cure. So what I did is I stabilized the arms, or what will be the arms, with the 15 minute. Then what I do, next stage, 
is I use uh, swimming pool noodles, old ones, because it's better than styrofoam. It doesn't make a mess out of the room. You can use a knife, you can cut it, you can tear it off. Okay. And I use that to pad it, and then again I use this twisty wire to control it, and then I take this clay, which... And I'll you need water, up. right? You need water. No, you don't, oh, no, the water's there to smooth things out if you want it and to wash your hands. Okay. I think this would be great for kids because this sets the next day, and it sets hard enough that you can do whatever you want. So you take two equal pieces of it. Right. And then okay. you mush it together. Okay. And mush, so I have to get it completely mushed. If you don't completely mush it together so that you can't see the two different colors then it won't set. It'll just stay sort of wettish. So the difference between this is just the color. Speed. Just the color. Well, right? one is the material Fast. and the other is the setter. I got gotcha. you. You have so to mix those two together. You mix the two together. So this, now you can't see the two different colors. It's all one color. And then all I do is I smear it on using my fingers. Using tools, like a knife, I go to the dentist and I ask for any spare do you have any spare um, tooth teeth, uh, tools that they okay. use? All right. So then you you just put that on. Now this tomorrow morning will be hard as a rock. Okay. As hard as this. Okay. So then when it's hard, what I do if this sticks out too far is I just you snip it off with snip clippers. Snip it off, yeah. or grind it off, or use a uh, sandpaper? Dremel, sandpaper, yes. Dremel bill. Um, Dremel, okay. drill, and sharp things, but I hurt myself yesterday because I was stupid and didn't wear gloves. Okay. So I went with a sharp tool right through my thumb. Okay. And then I soak it in. <laughs> to prevent an infection, right. I soak it in. Well, you can you can continue making that. We got to ah. take a commercial break, and then we'll see, see at the I end of the show how it now. looks. You know, we'll we'll see how it looks at at the end of the show. You can go ahead and continue okay. working, and we're going to be back here with more on Connect with Me with Ebony Zerl in just a moment. What's it? Back in your bones and let's twizzle. Weeknights, do the twizzle with me. Everybody, start in doing the twizzle. Everybody, if you're ready to sizzle, you twist a little and you twist a lot. And when you really get hot, that's the twizzle. Then you twizzle, then you twizzle, then you twizzle. Weeknights starting at 9, 8 central on MeTV. Twizzle! And we're back. We're with artist uh, Ebony Zerl, and she's showing uh, me and you at home, if you want to join us, uh, how, to, how to sculpt something. Uh, 265 4331 is the number. Uh, this is a piece of art I want to show you again on my shot that she has uh, sculpted here. It's a little, well, it's a little unsteady because it broke a little bit, but that's a beautiful piece of art. And by the way, she also does drawings, she does paintings. Her drawings are up on the second floor at City Hall. They'll be there through. Friday, um, but I want to tell your story. Now, you were laid off from your job as an artist T uh, art in 19, in 19, art teacher. Art teacher in 1976, and where were you at the time? I was in Danville, Kentucky at Center College. Amazing, and so you just decided to pick up and say, well, you know, okay, I think I'll just go to medical school. <laughs> I blame my sister. I came home and said I got laid off, and she said, oh good, you can go to medical school now. Because in those days, Women didn't do that. You married the doctor and you did art in the basement. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. I mean, how many people can just drop everything and say, oh, I'm going to medical school now. I'm unemployed. I think, <laughs> you know, I'd like to secure my future. I mean, I, I mean, you make it sound so easy. It wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. Transitioning from artist mentality to learning an incredible amount of irrelevant information for medical school, that was difficult. Now, you were a surgeon, right? Yes. You worked on, what Head was your neck. specialty? Head and neck. Head and neck. Ear, surgery. nose, and throat. Nose, plastic surgery? Plastic surgery. Well, I didn't like volunteer plastic surgery like facelifts. I like skin cancer uh, right. and reconstruction for, for accidents or and you did that for 29 years. 29 years. And it paid pretty darn good money, it I would assume. It paid to support my bronze your, your, casting your and my habit, sculpture. Your habit. My habit. Right. And your habit, of course, 
uh, is, is art. art. All right, you're going to continue to work yeah. on this, and what are you doing here? I'm just, I'm just well, kind of. Well, I've given some uh, of the epoxy clay to John so he can play with it and make something. The only time you need an armature is if you're making something big. You don't okay. need an armature if you're making small things. So I right. think this would be good for kids. A little expensive, right. but he pointed out that this was broken. Well, that's okay that it's broken because all I'm going to do is take some epoxy clay and stick it in there. Okay. And then okay. when it dries tomorrow, I'll sand it down. I'll hold that up so they can see because it, it's so far yes. down on the desk there. So okay, there's go a ahead crack. And put, put that on. There's that. a go crack ahead. in the legs, so what I'm doing is I'm filling the crack with the epoxy clay. And yeah. tomorrow, after it's set, then I'll grind it down, sand it down, and repaint it. Will it be more? Is it? Is the screw just kind of loose on the bottom? Yeah. There? Well, the yeah. screw doesn't have a good attachment to the wire. Okay. That's what's wrong. Oh, okay. So what? I, what I do now is take the water, and then smooth it off here. All right. So that's what the water is for. All right. So I'll so, fix that crack. So let me ask you something. As I adjust your microphone here, uh, right there. Sorry, Oops, there. There you go. Microphone. Uh, let me right. ask you something. It, was it tougher to go through medical school than it is to, you know, uh, make all these sculptures and, oh, yes. and, and do all the drawings oh, yes. and the paintings? It's oh, much yes. more difficult? Oh, yes. You have to be totally focused and memorize like crazy and spend hours. I mean, your life is dedicated to medicine when you're a doctor. On call, getting up at 2 in the morning to take care of accident victims or nosebleeds or doing surgery, starting at 7 in the morning, mm -hmm. uh, coming home at anywhere from six to nine at night and it's you hard did work. it because i wanted it too hard i needed the money and i love surgery surgery right. was was fun to do and i love dealing with people i like saying here let me fix that right right sounds well, silly but that's let's put some of your work up on the screen so people can see what we're talking about uh, there and as you continue to make your project your your sculpting as we're talking here what are we looking at right there that's uh, looks like uh like a woman's purse. Like a woman's purse, That yes. looks like a woman's purse. And what do you find in a woman's purse? And uh, I don't know, anything. <laughs> Money. <laughs> well, I, Lipstick, <laughs> makeup. Like, well, what is in, in my drawings, there's big people and then there's little people. And when okay. the little people are in the drawings, they're the thoughts that come through your mind. Like you're trying to think of one thing and then another idea comes flitting in. And so this is a grab bag or a recycle bag that's filled with extra people. Okay. And okay. they're doing whatever it is they're doing while she's trying to do what she's doing. This one right here depicts what? Uh, now that I've retired in my older age, I'm kind of slowed down because of arthritis in my hands. It hurts. Okay. So, so this one kind of depicts arthritis. Arthritis. I'm complaining that it's really hard to draw now because it hurts. All right. And along with that, we have one that really depicts uh, a woman in a very, well, a very sad way because you're talking about breast cancer here. This was, um, uh, this was about breast cancer, mm -hmm. and my mother had breast cancer, and she had it in the days when they did very destructive surgery. And so, but she was very proud, and she survived. She stood up straight and st stuck her chin up in the air and went on with her life in spite of the breast cancer. And so this is a tribute to my mother and all the women who have had breast cancer and survived or even not, but at least they, they tried. Is sculpting very similar to having surgery or, or performing surgery yes. in a way? Yes. In yes. what way? Is, maybe that's, is that why you're so good at it? It may be because I love, I love working with my hands and I'm making something and I'm making something better in surgery. Right. Surgery is total focus to take this out because it's bad and put this back in because it's good. And that's, a, that's right. a really good feeling and it's... Right, right. Um, so how's your project going? I'm going to give you my piece so okay. you can add it on there. How's Stick that? It. I kind of You can wrench your hands in you. there. Oh, okay. No, no problem. I'm not worried about it. But anyway, so what are we making here? What are oh, you, I'm what's making in another figure. Here? I don't know. Whatever. Whatever it turns out to be. So you don't have anything in mind. It's just whatever it turns out to be, yeah. huh? Well, what I'm going to do is start playing with it. It's sort of like playing with dolls. Okay. And you set it up, and then you can move the arm up. You can move the arm over. You can move the arm in front. M move that more in the shot. There you go. Right there. Right here. Right here. Right there. Okay. You can move this up, down, around, 
over, and because they're light, with the, the advantage to the epoxy clay is I could do something out of balance like this mm -hmm. and not have to worry the fact that it's going to try to fall over mm -hmm. the way any other material. Have you sold any of your uh, projects? Uh, yeah, I've sold some drawings in the last couple of years mm -hmm. when I, since I've started showing. But right. And then uh, some sculptures. I just sold one of the wire dancers at a show in Cambria. Mm -hmm. That's good. And that was actually to someone I didn't know, so that was nice. <laughs> All right. We're talking with surgeon and artist Ebony uh, Zurl here in Fresno. Her artwork is up through Friday on the second floor at City Hall if you want to see it. If you want to purchase any of her items, uh, you're free to do that too. Uh, we'll tell you how you can get in touch with her and we'll give you a website, uh, maybe an email. Anyway, we're back with more of Connect With Me here on Arts and Culture Day. Hey, no phone calls yet. 265-4331. We're back in just a moment. Is taking care of laundry taking too much of your time? Have you become a missing mom? With a new fast, efficient washer and dryer from Ventura TV Video Appliance, you'll spend more of your day the way you want. This Omana Super Capacity Washer Dryer Pair is now just $6.99. And this Heavy Duty Maytag Super Capacity Washer Dryer Pair is only $8.99. Don't spend your life on laundry. Upgrade today at Ventura TV Video Appliance and save. You know, we haven't had too many shows that are arts and culture related, and I really enjoy it when we do have a guest that uh, relates to that uh, certain topic there. And I want to point out there's a book here. It's called The uh, Drawings of Ebony Zerl. Um, alternate worlds and visions of reality and if you flip through the book you can see many of her drawings here uh by the way ebony where, where can one purchase this book uh, internet know, I, it, I haven't put it on the internet i tried barnes and noble but that didn't work out why not i couldn't figure out how to get it, them sent <laughs> <laughs> so where do they buy this book it's a, it's a uh, it'll really be at, a at um when i'm in art hop it'll be there or you can email me at zero at comcast.net or go on my website zeralart z-i-r-u-l-a-r-t dot com and then you can order it through that i'm going to put this up uh on the camera i don't know if they'll be able to see it but I, I is this supposed to represent a split personality or a headache or a headache look at that uh, i don't know if you can see that that well but uh, you can see it right there okay all right it's a split personality or a splitting headache. A splitting One of the headache. Two. Yeah. It's all those bothersome well, creatures coming out right. of my head. So, as I understand it, over the last 40 years, and I say 40, 40, Ebony has, what, you have more than 800 drawings in your possession? Mm hmm. Wow. I've, I've scanned them in when I retired. I started scanning the drawings in and, and counting them. Right. And so, do, how many of those are paintings? Uh, only about six are paintings. Okay, I, you're not really into watercolors or whatever. They're uh, not portable. Not... I drew, I draw or drew during concerts, during lectures. I'll actually go to boring lectures just so I can sit and draw, because that's what sparks what I'm thinking. You know, they start talking about something, and then I can go. Well, off. you're doing that during our show right now. Does <laughs> that mean our show is boring? No, no, no. <laughs> okay. well, it's hard All to right, do I just that. Wondered curious about that but anyway so they're up through how did you get the uh, the drawings um, uh, to be shown at City Hall how did uh, that work out I'm a member of Fig Tree Gallery and okay. then a member of Fresno Arts and they called and said how would you like to have a show in January mm -hmm. so in your mind again not to reiterate or, or you know hammer the same point over and over and over again but the key to being a successful artist is what in your mind? Just play. Just enjoy what you're doing. Just have fun with it and keep doing it. Be focused on it. Right. When you're doing it, do it. And then when you gather enough things and you start seeing what you like and what you don't, you know, bring in other people to start giving critiques. And pretty soon you'll find out that your stuff's not so bad. If, mm -hmm. you, if you allow it to come into existence. Do you have to have time? You have to carve out time you have to, to do For it. anything you do, you have to dedicate time. If you don't, it won't get done. Right. And how much time does something like this take, like what you're making I here? Spend, how, uh, total from start to finish. Oh, this probably, one of these probably took me about three weeks because I do a little bit, let it dry overnight, grind it down the next day, 
do a little bit more, dry it out. But see, you know, you're not doing this for the purpose of selling, are you? You're just doing it for the, for I'm the not, I'm sole not, purpose of love, the I'm love of art. I'm not dependent on it for, I have a pension. If I didn't right. have the pension, I think I right. would probably right. have to try to find something that would be support. But yes, I'd like to sell them because they need to find homes. And if you don't sell them, if you just But give, I'm saying the purpose for you doing this isn't to sell them. No. You're doing it. For the for the simple love of art, no, is, because that, is I, that true? Because I love to make stuff, right? Um, right. Yeah. But eventually, you'd like to sell. Art. I'd like to. I do sell, and I'd like to get more gallery shows so that. Um, but that wasn't your exposed. main motivation in the beginning to, no. to do that. No, your main motivation was is that you're just addicted to. I have to make things. Yeah, you. I'm have addicted to, make to things. making things. Yeah. Yes, and now I'm finding new materials to do it. Adjusting to the fact that my hands hurt to going to are something you a, that's Are easier. you a nervous type of person? You have to get that nervous tension out? Is this probably, your way of, they of probably releasing? Call it ADD releasing? Now. They probably oh. call it ADD now. <laughs> back, back when I was younger, they just said, you have too much energy, go do something. Right. So you my go. daughter is really into painting, like with colors. Mm -hmm. Encourage her? Oh, absolutely. Uh-huh. And at, can encourage the fact that you can do this and you can do that, not just do one thing. I mean, people are told often that in order to, to be successful, you have to focus totally. Well, to be successful, you have to love what you do. So you focus periods of time and practice at it. Right. And then you become it. More of your drawings that we want to put up on the screen that we haven't seen yet. Let's put those up. I think we've got three more that we uh, have not yet seen. What are we looking at there, uh, Ebony? This is a, one of the wire dancers. And if anybody's ever seen the bronze ode to Degas, that's, I mean, Degas did in the 19th century. Beautiful. This is an ode to Degas. And this okay. is saying, I love this piece and I wanted to make it in my media. And my media now is coat hangers. Hey, let's take a phone call. Good morning. You're on Connect With Me. How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you this morning? Hey, I'm doing fine. Are you an artist? Uh, no, I'm a writer. Oh, you're a writer. Hey, yeah. well, similar. <laughs> What's your question? My question is, she started to say, if you don't get your material out there, uh, then what happens? Because I'm, I'm kind of dealing with that right now. I've got a whole body of work, but I haven't put it out yet. Be brave and put it out. How do you put it out? What's the process? You start, well, well I started with Chris Sorensen's studio, and his studios have frequent, every month they have a new show, and some of the shows are open to anybody bringing anything in, and you pay a fee anywhere from $10 to $25 mm -hmm. to put your work in, and then it's put up, and you can sell it if it's reasonable and somebody wants it. Even if it's unreasonable, if somebody wants it, they'll buy it. Or you, or you can win prizes. He often has prizes. So I would start with Chris Sorensen's studio. It's locally. called public relations. Public, yeah, You've got to get your relations. stuff out there to the public and to, to get yourself known and get your work out there so people know uh, what you're capable of and what your, what your artwork or your writings or whatever they might mm -hmm. be, what you're capable of doing. You have, you have to be brave enough to put it out. And I just started putting it out in the last few years. And other than that, I was just filling up my home with lots and lots of uh, people Quick. who don't talk back. Quickly, uh, two more photos. Okay, what are we looking at here? Uh, when I retired, I was called by Clovis to, um, to do a commission for a life-size statue of an Indian woman uh, for the corner of Clovis and Shaw. So this is the Indian gatherer, my first commission. And she's bronze, life size, and this is uh, at her dedication with mm -hmm. myself and my grandniece. All right. How do people get in touch with you? You have a number. You already gave the email, I think, and a website. Let's give that one more time. We got 30 seconds. Zeral Art, Z A Z I R U L A R T dot com, or Zeral at Comcast dot net. Okay. And if someone needs surgery, don't call don't you. Don't call me. You're I, retired. I'm retired. You're I don't retired. do that anymore. You're done. <laughs> okay. This is the only surgery that you're performing here now. With the they don't sculpting. complain. They, don't, they right. don't complain. And they don't talk back. <laughs> they don't talk back. <laughs> All right. Ebony, you're a lovely, lovely lady. Thank and, you. And thank you for coming in. I thank love you. your artwork. By the way, her artwork is on display second floor at City Hall through Friday. That's our show for today. We'll be back tomorrow. We have a special guest. It'll be entertainment day. Oh, I can't wait. We've got a band coming in the studio. We'll see you tomorrow on Connect With Me.